Hey guys, welcome to the practice problems for circles, level, medium. Ready? Let's do it. All right, so let's take a look at the problem here. And what's cool, so remember I said circles are always very visual problems. This is no exception. We start with this nice diagram. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have a square and a circle inscribed within and, and this little triangle. So we got a bunch of things going on. Let's see what the question's asking. So it says, in the figure above, the circle with center O is inscribed in square WXYZ. So when it's inscribed inside, it's kind of, it just means it's inside of it. And you can make another assumption. You can make an assumption that at each point where it's touching the square, like here, up uh, at the, down here, and so on and so forth, that it's, it's tangent to the square, meaning it's literally just one point it's touching that square. Okay, so let's let's take that. And we also know this is a square. It says, what is the area of the shaded portion of the circle? So it's that it's that gray area, like all this whole section in here. Okay, right? So that's what we want to know. This shaded portion. What is the area? All right. So there's a lot of things going on. Let me break it down. And first of all, notice we have one value over here, four. And this is the leg length of XW or WX. Let's start by filling in everything that we know, okay, about this diagram. So if we know that four is the length of XW, we also know that four is the length of WZ, uh, YZ, et cetera, because this is a square. So all the sides are equal. What else do we know? We know that this angle in this sector is a 90 degree angle. All right, it's kind of hard to see there, but it's a 90 degree angle. How do I know that? Because this sector, right, these, these line segments go right to the edge of that square and come in. This one goes right to the edge and comes in. So by virtue of the definition that these are going into a square like that, right, this has to be essentially a quarter of that square. Therefore, that angle has to be a 90 degree angle. Why is that, why is that critical? Because that means that this whole sector is one fourth. It's exactly one fourth of the area of the entire circle. All right, so now we're getting somewhere because all we have to do now is figure out the area of the whole circle and take one fourth of that. Okay, so let's do that. So how do we get the area of the circle? Now we need to figure out the radius, right? So how do we do that? We're gonna use this side length. So if you notice, right, we've got up here, we've got a length of four going all the way across. Going all the way across in the center is also the diameter. So that means our diameter for the circle is four. Well, guess what? The radius is half of that. So the radius is simply two. Let's use pi r squared now as our formula for calculating the area of a circle. So we have pi times two squared. So the area is simply four pi of the whole circle. So remember, now we have to calculate the area of this sector. So remember we said it has a 90 degree angle for the sector. So 90 over 360, right? We just take that ratio and we multiply it times the area of the entire circle. And 90 over 360, that's the original numbers that we're gonna use, but that just reduces down to one fourth. So let me go down here and we'll say the simplified version, one fourth times four pi. And you can cross these guys out and that reduces to a very nice, simple, clean pi. And where do we have that? Right here, answer choice B, 